G'day guys, it's Neil here from Bird Dog in Melbourne and I'm our video content producer. We had a lot of interesting questions the other day from people who saw the PF120 being used in our launch video. So what I'm going to show you today is how easy it is to connect our new PF120 box camera to a Ronin, which will already add another element to a very versatile camera. So the easiest way, as we can see, to attach a PF120 to a Ronin is just with the screw-in mount at the bottom of the camera. So Ronins all come with this bottom base plate, which is easy to screw in. And we just pop that so it's facing forward. And then as you can see here, you just pop it on and lock into place. And once it's all balanced, it's ready to go. The best part about the PF120 in my mind is it's so portable and versatile. So you can see that it's very, very easy to balance. And then once you plug your ethernet cable in the back, it's power over ethernet. So literally all you need is that one cable and it's ready to go and you can use it in so many different scenarios. Uh, you've just seen with the footage we had in the cooking shoot, but this, is, this can be used at concerts, uh, for live streams, absolutely anything. And it just adds that little bit extra for this already versatile camera. So normally when you're using your camera on a Ronin, and you've got your focus and zoom controls down the bottom here. But with our cameras, you've got your Ethernet plug into your computer, which goes to your cam control. So what I'd be recommend doing is using a much higher aperture, such as f8 to f10. Uh, if you're going to be moving in and out, which will mean you're able to maintain focus and things don't go in and out of focus too easily. So it really is as easy as that to set up our PF120 camera on any of the Ronin systems and add a roaming element to this already versatile, awesome camera. For more information, head along to bird-dog.tv.